What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader. So, I'm going to be playing this game Beyond Blue today. This is an ocean diving game, it's basically like a whole narrative thing where you play as a scientist and you can explore all the oceans and you use a range of different equipment like sonar and scanners to actually interact with all the ocean and wildlife in the deep blue sea. This is set slightly in the future and it has a whole storyline to it with different characters and you play as a scientist while you dive and explore I think seven or eight different dives in the ocean so it looks like a really exciting game and it's kind of like a documentary game that's all based on science and it actually looks really cool so we're going to be checking this out today and the interesting thing is it is a story based game like we said but it does look like we can free roam a little bit so it'd be interesting to actually check out how this game actually plays so we're going to jump into some gameplay right now and test it out Okay, so the interesting thing is it doesn't actually have any main menu music yet, which is something which I do actually appreciate. I think they should add some kind of soundtrack to it. So we're going to jump into a new game, and we're just going to see what happens. Oh, it's inspired by Blue Planet 2. I'm pretty sure that's the documentary. You could say it runs in my blood. My grandmother was a freediver, an ama. She helped me feel its rhythm and understand how one breath could last a lifetime. We dove so often, the memories all run together. Stay down forever. All those sounds, though. The ocean cast its spell on me that day. And its mystery still consumes me. Beyond Blue. Interesting. So these kind of sound effects that we're hearing, like the clicking and the dolphins and the whales, I'm guessing the sound design on this game is going to be really nice. Day one, submerged atoll, western Pacific. It's great to be diving again. I'm anxious to find our sperm whale family and look in on our mother-to-be. I'm also excited to test out Andre's new tech. Ocean X is expecting a huge audience for our first live stream, given how bad things were in this region a few years ago. No pressure though, ready to dive. I like it when they actually do the full narration of the audio themselves, because in a lot of the games you have to read all of the text and sometimes it skips it too quickly, but it does actually have the full dialogue actually narrated, which is actually really nice. Oh, this is gameplay footage right here. I wonder what engine this is actually made on. So the water already looks really nice underwater. So we're exploring the whole ecosystem. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so we can look around. Nice. A bit itchy, but I've had worse. WASD to swim. Really? Oh damn, we have an ocean on we have a whale on top of us. Feels like I'm free diving. Genuine compliment. Should have caught that on the live stream. Uh give me a few minutes. I want it to be amazing, and I'm still getting used to this AR visor. Swim to the waypoint. Okay, we have to swim over here. So when we right-click, we zoom in, and I guess that just analyzes stuff. Wait, how do we scan stuff? Do we get closer? Oh, we hold left-click. Scanned. Okay, so over here, we have... I'm guessing this is just a whale. It says scanned, but I can't actually see what it is right now. And then underneath it is swimming with all of these little baby fish or baby whales. Okay, so there's a progress to scan it. Okay, how does this work? This is actually really interesting. So now we know how to scan stuff. Oh, this is a whale shark. We can look at the logs. So I guess in this game, what you do is you explore and you just scan all the different types of whales. So we found a whale shark and a remora. Interesting. So I don't actually know what this is, but it's swimming with a whale. That's pretty interesting. So every time you scan, you can have a look at your log 
and we can go into the science log on the menu. Does it give us a description of the animal? So it tells you the scientific name and the group of the species. You can change all the controls in size. I'm guessing this is just extra lore to the story or maybe we can just watch the cinematics that we just watched again. And here we are on the map. So this is the huge dive I'm guessing that we're doing right now. So this is either the whole ocean or this is just one of the dives. It did say there were seven or eight dives in this game and it says Atoll Day. So I'm guessing that's where we are. First live stream of the expedition. Track the A lineage sperm whale family to see if the pregnant female has given birth. Okay, so our objective, we need to to swim to this waypoint you can see this on the mini map the objective is actually under the camera but you should be able to see on the mini map so far there's actually some really nice ambience music in the background I feel like this is the type of game that would be super peaceful to play at night time when you're bored and you don't know what to do and you want something kind of relaxing and peaceful this game kind of seems like it might be something like that so we can spin the camera 360 degrees and we can pan it around and we have this really cool awesome diving suit on which doesn't look like something we've seen before. That's because the game is set slightly in the future. So can we just scan everything? I think we can scan everything, right? Okay, I can't get close enough. We can scan this. Clown Triggerfish. Okay, he's triggered. Okay, let's have a look at this. The whole point of the game is to, if you're getting all the achievements, I think you have to just scan everything. So we can just swim around and scan lots of stuff. And you'll see the waypoint. This is actually another creature which we have to scan. And it looks like a giant stingray from down there, but I have no clue what this is. Okay, let's scan this. Chilean Devil Ray. Close the scanner. How many scans before the AI is trained on a creature? It will vary. There are many factors that affect the confidence level of a match. So you don't know. Got it. Now, point me to the buoy so I can try the hydrophones. I want to make sure all the tech is working before we stream. The buoy? I would have called that a boy Rita, or a buoyant. You gonna be okay with the live stream? Hmm. I may let you do most of the talking. Once you reach the boy, you can try and make the sound of any animal. Clever. Thank you. Oh, he is caught at the boy. Okay, so apparently I could have swam faster all of this time. Like I've been playing for five minutes, and it only just tells me now that I can swim faster. Right, let's head over to this next checkpoint. So we've scanned this. This is the same thing we've just scanned, I'm pretty sure. The Chilean Devil Ray. I'm going to have a look at that entry, though, because I was interested what that actually was. This is the first thing. So this is, I'm guessing, because this is a mission objective, it's going to be in the first slot. So, like I said before, we can't really see too much information like a description. But it does show us the species, the family, and it shows us the actual length. So I guess you could actually learn stuff about animals if you actually play this game. That's actually why it's pretty cool. Let's swim over to this. I think we're going to get pulled out of the water. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, let's press F. What's going to happen? Ooh. Refresh me on the controls. Move the target in circle around. Each sound will get louder when you are close to locking in on an animal's location. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay. So we use the sounds and it has kind of like a sound meter and the closer it gets the bigger the bar gets and it shows you the direction where the animal is and then you can scan for it. So we can use this to listen to all the different sounds. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what we're looking for. Wait, let's... is it above the ocean? Humpback whales. Mariah, if you're okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. Welcome to the Ocean X live stream. Ocean I'm X. Dr. Mariah Soto and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. I'm joined today by two colleagues. Hello, I'm Andre. Hello, everyone. I'm Irina. This is like every YouTube live stream ever when you start a live stream. <laughs> I feel like it's the exact same thing. So what we've done is we've scanned for the sounds. What I'm interested is if the people who have genuinely made this game, if they've actually gone into the ocean and dived with a crew and got all of the sounds themselves, or if they're just using really high quality sounds, because the audio on this game is actually really good. Okay, right, we need to scan for humpback whales. I think this Looks is like one, right? Oh, okay, there we go. Hopefully on your next dive, you can record his song to compare with other humpbacks in the area. Fun fact, in addition to being an engineering whiz, Andre is quite the musician. Are you still writing music? Not for years. Dry spell? More like raising teenagers. So we've got an American a female who we play as and just the typical British guy. Okay, so we'll scan this second one, then we've completed it. Available to viewer in the sub. 
Ah, so maybe, I'm guessing that means we can use submarines. Let's open the map like it told us to. So right now we're down here, and when we scan for stuff, you can already hear the humpback whales in the background. When you scan for stuff, it shows you kind of like the general location where you scanned them, so you kind of know where all the animals are on the map, which is really nice. That's actually really awesome. So if we just dive in, we're free diving, you can see there's a whole lot of detail in here. So they've they've put in a lot of work into kind of like the corals, in the coral reef and all of the plants and the sea life. Even the really small mini fish are here. I'm not sure if we can interact with all of them. Oh, we actually can scan these tiny ones as well. Royal Anglefish or Royal Angelfish. Interesting. So we can even swim in these really deep ravines as well, which is really nice. I think I'm definitely going to play this game a little bit more. Even if I don't complete it in this video, I feel like I will actually play it a little bit because it is actually really fun. So is it just telling us to just go around and scan for random stuff now? Because the objective has disappeared. I don't know what it wants me to do. Let's just scan these dolphins. Bottlenose dolphin. Three out of 36. Wait, so does that mean we have to scan multiple? I think it's an objective to scan every single dolphin in an area. Or every single one of one species in the certain ecosystem. So I'm guessing per dive we do. One of the goals would to be to scan every single dolphin. It says there's like 30 dolphins. Wait. We've scanned 9 out of 36. Okay. So we're going to have to scan a whole lot more. And it marks the ones that you've scanned. So if one says a question mark like that, then you haven't scanned it. Okay. Which ones have I scanned all of these? I'm going to go around and try and find every single dolphin. That's going to be so time consuming. I think these are the two big humpback whales though that we scanned. Yeah. This has an icon here, so I feel like this is something which is actually is telling me to scan or to do. Soldier fish. I thought you said soldier boy then. Damn, we've actually scanned quite a lot. I'm not sure if these are all the species in the game on this science log or if it's just in this one level. But I'm guessing it will send us to different parts of the world. I would presume it's not going to put us in just one ecosystem if there's multiple dives. This looks like a giant mushroom under here, what's that? Okay, right, we're going to swim faster, we're going to leave the scan mode. And we can actually look at this map though, so... If we see any more dolphins or any animals on the way, I will scan for them, but... When we leave a certain habitat, we're probably going to find different species. Because I'm guessing this game's probably designed to be legitimate. I'm just going to go for a dive and just see how everything is, because this is so cool. How deep can we go? I'm wondering how deep in the ocean we can go. Do we lose health if we go super deep down here? Or does it not let us explore any further? Because this looks like there's nothing down here because this is super deep. I'm not sure if it shows the altitude either. Or the sea level or the water depth. Okay, so when we swim to a certain depth, it just kind of stops us and we just free float. Okay. I was just curious if you could go super deep. Maybe at this level, I don't know like if this is how the game works. But I'm curious at this level, if you go super deep, maybe you could find like an anglerfish or something like a deep water fish. Maybe that's what happens on one of the dives, I'm not sure. That will probably be on the dives where you can use a submarine because obviously the water pressure is going to be super low below that level. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a sunken shipping container. I wonder if there's any kind of fish in here. Wait, let's go check it out. Okay, nothing's in there, that's a shame. That's definitely a letdown. <laughs> Wait, let's scan for these fish. What are these? Oh, these are the same ones. Clown triggerfish. I feel like I'm probably going to end up finding all of those because there's a lot of those around. So, we've actually now come to the bottom of the map, which means the map is actually a lot smaller than I thought. It does seem quite big, but we've already come to the bottom of the map right now. And we do have a compass at the top, so I could probably use that to guide myself where I'm going. So I'm going to kind of keep swimming east just to go around the bed of the bottom of the map and just see what we find. It says the first live stream of the expedition tracked the A lineage whale family to see if the pregnant female has given birth. So does that mean we have to go track down more whales or what? I don't get it because we've already scanned for two of them. I'm just busy discovering new species right now. We found two out of five of these groups of butterfly fish. 
What's this? Wait, is this an animal we can scan for? Look, there's a clam here, but we can't scan for it. That's a shame. I guess it's just part of the whole background exterior. It's just a flat object. It's not actually an animal. Wait, is this the one we've scanned before? Oh, no, it isn't. This is a different one. The Devil Ray. So we found three of those. So there's 18 in the ocean. That's kind of a lot, to be honest. But it was down here. Is this a little ravine again? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can swim down here. Okay, I wonder what we find when we go a little bit deeper. A whole lot of clams again. There's not really so much in here. But it is really cool exploring all these sea caves though. It's interesting how diverse the maps actually are because the sea caves, the sea ravines, and then there's just the pure open ocean that you can swim through. And the diving has really realistic, nice animations. The game has great graphics and the sound is really high quality. Oh snap, we found something else. Okay, these are the ones we scanned earlier. Okay, so we're coming back to the same ones again. So, okay, from what I understand, if they have a white dot on them, I think we've already found them. But if they have a, a white circle, like a dotted circle, I think those are the ones which we still have to scan. Okay, so I'm going to try and prove that point. Okay, so we've scanned those. These are those whales though, right? The humpback whales. But it says we've only found 2 out of 10. So there's a whole bunch more we actually have to discover. Yeah, look, there's like an empty circle. It's not filled, so that means we haven't scanned them. Okay. I feel like so far, though, we've found basically every species in the ocean in this level. So we're only scanning for extra ones, basically. Wait, what's this? This looks like tartar sauce off SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, where it's just, like, sunk underwater. Oh, it's happy birthday stuff and then a huge bottle of water. I guess the game's realistic with all of like the plastic and all the garbage which is basically litter in the ocean. So they've actually gone into some effort to actually show like all of the litter and the things in the ocean floor. This soundtrack would be really nice to play in the background of a video as well. I wonder if this soundtrack is actually copyrighted. It probably isn't because people like me record the game and that's kind of a thing but the soundtrack's super peaceful. One thing though which I do appreciate, which is something that's on the first level, although I'm not sure if this is going to be a common theme throughout the game, is there doesn't seem to be any oxygen meter right now, so I'm not sure if it's because I've got some special like futuristic suit or if it's just to introduce me to the game, but I like the fact that we're not actually losing oxygen and we don't have to worry about that, probably because the whole game is actually set in the ocean so it would be kind of weird if we had an oxygen system. But it doesn't give us a timer for when we have to complete the level. So even though there is kind of a story and a narrative of what we need to do, it is basically open world, it's not very linear. I've been swimming around for a good 10 minutes not following the story and just exploring and I think that's the kind of thing that this game should be like. Why spot is pufferfish? Oh okay, we found a new species. Damn, that looks so cool. So we found the tartar sauce of Spongebob and now we found Mrs. Puff. Okay, let's keep swimming anyways. I have one achievement on this game so far, which is just start the journey. So I reckon if I actually scan every fish, I will get some super hard challenge or super hard achievement. Wait, what's the- oh, we haven't found this before. Trigger fish. Damn, those things are everywhere. Okay, this is where everything gets too deep. I'm going to get away from there. Damn, look at that swimming form. Jeez, I'm a professional. It actually looks kind of funny if you look at it. <laughs> More royal angelfish. Okay, so I'm coming back to the place where I have actually scanned a few things already. But there's also some new things too. But you always need to keep your eye out in the scan mode. Because if you're just in the normal mode, sometimes it can be harder for the eye to catch what we actually need to scan and what's available to us. So this, I need to scan this. If I go in scan mode, it's pretty obvious. If I go in normal mode, though, it's not very clear that I've seen them before. So what are those? Tricolor parrotfish. Okay, that's something new. But we can swim under these ocean archways, which is super awesome. Is this going to lead us into another cave, or...? 
Wait, this is, yeah, this is another cave, I think. Or it's just a set of archways. So I'm getting around 60 FPS, mostly solid. There's not really any problems with it, which is why the game's super smooth. Sometimes it drops a little bit below that, but for the most part, it's on like 57 to 60 plus FPS, which is really nice. I keep forgetting that I can actually go up instead of going down because I keep swimming down. Oh, wait, control goes down. Jeez, okay, that took me ages to find out. So, I think what I should do at this point is I'm just going to double check. Okay, I haven't scanned these. I'm going to scan these two devil rays. Wait, where's the second one? Right, I need to home in closer. I feel like some kind of home and missile right now. Just darting through the water. Okay, so I'm going to make sure all of these are scanned first, including this big whale. And then I'm going to go back to the two orange icons because those are the only things which I've scanned which are actually really clear to clear as day and marked on my game so I'm guessing I do actually have to go back to them so we have to we're part of a live stream so I'm guessing we're still live streaming in the story so I think we have to just watch the whales until like they give birth or something okay damn it that other whales just flown past me I'm definitely not wasting my time to chase that whale just to scan it so we're gonna swim a hundred meters to the whales you'll see that one of them is actually the dolphin group and one of them is the whale group the dolphins are pretty close but the whales are kind of far away oh wait wait, wait. this is another dolphin oh nice okay so it says scan dolphins so I need to scan five dolphins Jeez. Don't get too jealous, folks, just because I'm swimming with dolphins. My grandmother always warned me that although they're cute, they can also be pranksters. And today, also very noisy. Ah, so after we've been swimming for a long time, I guess we found another group of dolphins, and that's why it's actually given us the objective. Okay, so there's two on there's one on top of the other one, so that makes it a little bit tough to actually scan that. Done. And maybe next time I can weigh in before on the number that we need to scan. As I mentioned, the confidence model is complex. You just want to find the whales. Guilty. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I do like that how it didn't give me the objective to scan those dolphins until I actually came across them a second time on the new group. So I guess it's kind of promoting that whole free room vibe which we were talking about. So it wants you to kind of play the game peacefully and explore yourself and then worry about what you have to do later when you're actually ready to. Which I think that's actually a really good way of making a game. Because if it was just telling me to do this and do that every few seconds and then only letting me do that, then it would actually be kind of boring. But the fact that it's letting us explore and then giving us a challenge after a while, just before we get bored, I'm actually really enjoying that system.